morning, gentlemen. Why do we why do we really think that he is? You know, like what causes mankind to fall into that state of paralysis by either knowing they have the physical or the mental power to achieve whatever it is they do, but yet they walk with those limitations. What is it? At ease, brothers. You know what, man? We forget two vital things to us moving forward, brothers. One, we forget the knowledge of our power. And two, we forget that success is premeditated. Two vital things. We forget the knowledge of our power and we forget that success is premeditated. What do you mean, so? Well, first off, man, let me, let me give a, a, a shout out to my brothers in the power circle, man. This, this conversation is just is stemming off of a conversation me and my brothers had this morning on our meditation call. Well, we were talking about Hannel's work, Charles Hannel, uh, author of Master Key System. And there was a part in the Master Key System, man, where Hannel was saying, hey, you know what? Like, like this is where a lot of people miss the bus. He said, you know what? When it comes to science, when it comes to philosophy, when it comes to religion, everybody is teaching about the end result. Everybody is teaching about the effects. Everybody is teaching about how Hanno said the, the, the manifestation energy, the byproduct of a thing. He said, but, but nobody, nobody's teaching about the other end. In other words, for example, religion and I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this religion, man. You know, you're growing up and we are going to church and we're hitting Sunday school. It's all about this power of God that can be bestowed upon you. It's all about receiving, uh, receiving the healing, receiving the blessing, receiving the, the, the abundance. But, but very few times are, are we teaching from a place of we are that operant power. Like in that very same Bible, it says, is it not written that ye are gods? But we never, we, we rarely, people rarely teach from that perspective. And that's what Hannah said. Hannah said people are missing the bus on that. People are always focused, focused on the end goal and, and, and how to get this end goal without really focusing on saying, you know what? Let, let me just pause and understand that this is the end goal that I want. Th then let me be the operant power that can create that. And it's crazy, man, because we can create our own uh, our own recipes. We can write our own prescriptions, brothers. But the thing is, I think it first comes down to it first comes down to knowledge of self. It first comes down to knowledge of self. And again, I got to give brother brother Hanel credit, man. I like the way he put it. He said, "When you understand what that I is." When you start, when you understand that, hey, you know, when, when I'm thinking about, you know, who or what I am, it's it's neither the ego or the mind, like like both of those are just a part of, of of who I am, but they're not me. They're not me. Understanding, think about this, bro. Once you understand it, that you are that operant power, that you are made in the image. Let me say it like that, so I don't lose nobody. That you are made in the image, and you need to view life, view everything from the perspective of being a god. Like I've always said it. I said, we need to stop thinking of a God, start thinking as a God. Once you do that, brother, think about everything that falls away. Now you're quarterbacking your mind. Now, now you're quarter, quarterbacking your physical body. And you can make decisions from a sound place, from a just from a place of constant energy. You don't have to get emotionally involved in, in what you're seeing in this world because that's not you. You can separate yourself from that man and, and, and call plays from, from, a, from, a, from the holiest of places, bro. So the first thing is knowledge of self. Once you have that knowledge of self, once you can see, you know, see why things are in your mind, why you can, when you can see why, why your physical self is going through something, then you can sit back and write your own recipe. You can sit back and write your own recipe. But let's think about how powerful that is. It sounds so simple. It seems so subtle. But think about how powerful that is. Meaning, 
all of us have the ability, man, that if we want a certain result, we, we know exactly how to get there. Tomorrow morning, if you wake up and say, you know what? I, I'm 300 pounds. I want to get to 200 pounds. And, and I'm challenged. I'm waking up every day, man. My woman is cooking cakes and cookies and T-bone steaks every day. And da 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 And it's hard for me to do it. But once you separate yourself from your eat from your physical body and say, you know what? Let me look at life from the perspective of a God. Let, let me look what my physical self is going through. Oh, okay, I, I see why I'm getting, I see why I'm getting the result I, I'm getting. Instead of thinking from that body saying, God, please give me the blessings and show me the way and how do I do a certain thing? Live life from the perspective of looking down at yourself saying, okay, you know what? If this is what you want, here's your recipe, brother. Here's your prescription. Take two of these and call me in the morning. In other words, in other words, you know exactly what it takes to go from 300 to 200. You say, brother, all you got to do is wake up every day, man. Instead of, instead of eating the ho-hos and drinking the, Drinking the Starbucks, go to the gym, get you a couple of miles in, do, do some, do some lifting. Like we all know within us what it takes to get to our end goal. So the first thing we have to do, man, is write our own recipe because, because that's the hack. That's the hack. You want to make the six figures everybody wants to make a, a, a month or a year or hell, even a month. You can make six figures a month. Write that recipe down. And when I say write that recipe down, there's enough people in our vicinity that, that are doing it. There's enough people on the World Wide Web, kind of like what I was talking about yesterday, on yesterday's video. I said, at some point, man, we, we got to step outside the rituals and start doing the work. So, so the rituals are already taking place. Those things you want to achieve, those people you want to move like, you're already watching them. You're already watching the videos on YouTube. You're, all, you're, you're already thumbing up the videos on, on Instagram and scrolling, seeing people in a certain health, uh, in certain type relationships, or, or, or get a certain type, certain type bag. And you can see how they've done it. Like, like, you don't have to create a whole new blueprint. You can just look at the methods of people that all, that's already done it and apply it to yourself. So the first thing is just writing that recipe, brothers. Writing that recipe. It's that simple and write it, writing it from the thing is we have to write it from the right perspective because when you write that recipe from ego, you're going to write it with all your limitations. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to say, you know what? This is what I like to do, but, but I have this cap, so I can't even write above that. But when you're thinking as a God, as I, as I said, we always need to be. If you're thinking as a God, brother, you can write it with no ceiling. So the first thing, man, is write that recipe, bro. The next thing is, man, we have to fall in love with that work. Then fall in love with that, fall in love with that prescription. Fall in love with it. I know I was sharing with my brothers uh, this morning. I couldn't think of the guy's name at first, but uh, Brian Tracy. I remember seeing a Brian Tracy video. Man, this is years ago. This, this was probably when YouTube was in its infancy stages. And uh, Brian Tracy was talking about, you know, how a man could change his life instantly. And he had a few, he had a few brothers come on and, uh, and share their story. But Brian Tracy says something that again, seems so simple, but it's life changing. Brian Tracy said, before you go to bed every night, right, write out, write out that game plan for the next day. In other words, in other words, once you write your own recipe and you say, and you say, this is what it takes for me to get to X, Y, Z before you go to bed, brother, write down those steps saying, you know what, if I'm going to be a person that achieves this goal, then tomorrow, this what has to be done. Like tomorrow's not even here yet, but when I wake up, if I want to hit that goal, this is exactly what I have to do. And fall in love with those steps. Wake, wake up every day and fall in love with those steps. Again, going back to Hanel, man. Hanel said, Hanel said it's all about, it's all about mastering the application. He said the application is where the joy is, the application is where the, where the abundance is. Application is where the fulfillment is. Like it's it's all about the application. Because think about when, when we're in application mode, we're in God mode. Because because now we're in cause mode. You know what I'm saying? We're, like we we're, we're not focused on on the end result. We're, we're focused. We, we don't have to look up and see. We're focused on the grind. It makes so much sense. Hell, even me making this YouTube video, the the joy and fulfillment is me firing this camera up and cutting this mic on and speaking. Everything that comes after, man, getting the AdSense money, getting comments, getting paid for doing, 
that that's an afterthought and it, and it's good of course but the joy comes in the right now the joy comes in the work you know what i'm saying the the joy comes in me being the cause for me getting a result at the end and i'm telling you brothers we forget that man we forget that but on this call we had this morning man my brother conquer my 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 brother conquer threw a through a through a hard wrench in the conversation man that's why i love this brother uh, and y'all gonna see Brother Conquer in the future. Y'all, y'all seen me go live with him, and, and we have a few other projects coming down the coming down the pipeline, right? But Brother Conquer this morning said, "Yeah, like like this this is this is what it is, man. You know, and, and gave his spiel like he always does. But then he said, he said, why, why does man fall out of this state? Like like if we know this, if we move in this order, and we we understand it, we're walking this guys. What causes a man?" To fall out of that state. And brother, I'm going to tell you, I sit there for a minute like, huh? I said, brother, that, that's a, that's a damn good question, man. And I pondered, man, and he, and he kind of asked around the room, is there anybody want to give any feedback? What, like, why do, why do we fall out of that, man? Which was an amazing question. And I pondered on it, man, for a second. And I thought about myself. I said, why, why do I, what makes me fall out of that, bro? And, and the example that came to my mind, man, was, you know, for any for any of y'all that, that, that's been in the military, man, you know, you go through, uh, when you're in basic training, you go through grenade training. And when and the drill sergeant tell you, he said, you know what, he said, listen to me. When you throw that grenade, I need you to put your head down. He said, everything in you is going to want to pick up and, and, and see what it's going to do. See what it's going to do. He said, the, the sun bucket is going to explode. Let me tell you that. So, so, so put your head down. And you go through basic, man, you see everybody, some people throwing that grenade, some people won't even get down. Drill got a drill sergeant got a damn near tackle them, man. And I thought about that example. I said, bro, that if anything, that's the one thing that pulls me out. Is is is, is focusing on the work, but then want to peek up and see if the end result is shifting any. See, see if the bank account is doing anything. See if the weight is going up or down. See if my strength is going up and down. Instead of just putting my head down, focusing on the work. Focusing on the work, bro. Falling in love with falling in love with falling in love with being the master of the cause, fully understanding that if I do a certain thing, I don't have to look at the tail end. I know what the tail end is doing. You know? So so I'm asking you, brothers, man, what do you think, what do you think brings you out of it? I know a crucial part he brought up, man, was self-love. And this it, this is something, this is something that a lot of men deal with. A lot of people deal with it, but I believe, I believe mainly it's us as brothers. Dealing with self love because, because, and this is something that brother, brother Joe, another brother in the circle brought up. He said, Man, we're, we're conditioned from all angles, whether it was raised in family, whether it's television, whether it's religion, whether it's XYZ, whether it's this. Everything teaches us to put everything outside of us as men first. Like, and, and, and not saying not, not to go against the grain of us as men supposed to be the protectors and providers. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about going above and beyond that to the point where a man keeps no love for himself to the point to the point where sometimes if a man shows himself a little bit of love, he feels guilty. He feels guilty. So all I'm saying is this, brothers. Success is, is premeditated. But we forget, we forget, we forget that it's premeditated. We forget that, that we forget that.